twin. 21 got family out there stepping. Don't talk my ear off. What up, gang? I'm back with another one. This video right here is Young Thug, man. Uh, Thugger went on million dollar worth of game, man. The podcast, Get Little Kid, Wallow. And he said a lot of things that he's backtracking now. Like, for instance, one was um, he said that Guys cross seas ain't really stepping. Like in the UK and all that. They ain't really. If you know, if you don't know what stepping means, stepping means like about your issue, like really doing gangster stuff. Like just say if you have a problem with somebody, you run down on that person and you do what you gotta do to not make them a problem no more. That's what stepping means. You know what I'm saying? Like you stepped on something. You know what I'm saying? You you hurt that person. And Thugger said they ain't really stepping like that, you know? And then he got backlash for it. And he, like, had to come back and, re and rephrase that. He, like, nah, man, you know, 21 my twin, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about everybody cross seas ain't stepping, you know what I'm saying? They stepping. I know some steppers. I'm talking about the middle class, white people, you know what I'm saying? Which don't really make sense, man. But... You know, lately, like I said, he been really talking and saying some stuff that he really been biting his words. Like he said, uh, Jay-Z don't have 20 or 30 songs that everybody can rap back if he was at a concert. You know what I'm saying? And then he he went and changed it up. He said we knew what he meant. Like, he ain't mean it like he didn't have the songs. He, You know what I'm saying? Basically, he all over there everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? He very well with it, man. So a little advice. Before you go on these interviews, or not even just interviews, when you get asked a question or you responding to something, think about what you're saying before you make these suggestions or you make these comments. Because you don't want to say nothing that you can't stand on and you got to come back and address it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't... That don't seem firm. That don't seem upright, you know? Real stand-up guys, when they uh people, when they say something, they stand on that. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't stand on it, don't say it. You know? And if you don't have a minute to think about what you finna say before you say it, then don't say it. Because that's might not what you want to say. Like, for instance... I'm going to give y'all a good example. Me. When I talk. When I do these videos, you might hear me stutter. And not necessarily stutter, but when I say stutter, I mean like I might say a word that I didn't mean to say or a phrase that I didn't mean to say and go back and correct myself. And the reason for that is because when I'm doing these videos, I haven't thought about what I'm going to say. I don't sit down and write down what I'm going to say. All this stuff is from the, off the top and from the heart that I know and from my, you know what I'm saying? So it's like if you don't settle, if, if, if you don't sit down and think about what you're going to say or you don't take a minute and think about what you're going to say, of course you're going to have some error in your dialogue. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, man, Thugger was like, the UK ain't stepping, overseas ain't stepping, how we stepping. And I done seen some videos on YouTube, man. Them guys be stepping. I'm talking about, you think stuff bad over here, it's stuff bad over there too. Like, they really bought their issue. Even the police, man, we think that over here is the only place where they got bad cops at, man. I done seen... A police stop a dude and finna literally, literally take him to jail and ready to shoot him because he was on a bike that he thought was too expensive for him to ride. So he thought he stole the bike. And when the guy like, 
addressing the situation. You think I stole this bike? You know what I'm saying? Because it's expensive, blase, squase. Like, the police get mad and really finna, you know, do it to them. And that's what I'm saying, guys. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you, you can't judge someone or a whole culture or a state by things you see or you think you know about that situation. If Thug ain't over there and he ain't lived over there and he don't know actual people that's over there and he having dialogue with them daily and stuff like that, he should be inputting in their situation. You know what I'm saying? And with the thing he said about Jay. Come on now. We all know Jay got songs can go back in. You know, plenty songs. Plenty. But at the at the at the time of what he was saying, I think he was trying to say. Jay Z don't have enough songs where this generation gonna stand up and sing thirty songs back to back to him. It's like basically he was saying he don't have the effect on the new generation as Thug do. And when it come to that right there, I would agree if he would have said that because. J generation is from the 90s, the eight, the late 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s. I'm talking about the hardcore Jay-Z fans. You know what I'm saying? Yo, on this interview with my nigga Gilly, when I was talking about the fucking, the overseas niggas, nigga, I'm talking about the motherfucking, the, the motherfucking middle class white guys. Wait a minute, wait. Wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. And shit like that, nigga. I know real G's out there, nigga. I fought with real G's, nigga. My motherfucking nigga Gibbs, nigga, all these motherfucking skeptics, all them players, nigga. I fought with real G's. These niggas handling they business, smoking shit. I got plenty of gangster stories about these niggas. Nigga, I'm most definitely not talking about it's no real gangsters out there, niggas. Real deal steppers out this motherfucker, nigga. My, my motherfucking twin. 21 got family out there stepping, keen stepping. Like, we I know real steppers out there. There's no way possible I'm saying there's no, no G's out there. Them niggas handling they business. Nigga, I'm talking about middle class.